cats and kittens, your wasteland rover here. Finally got some of my voice back. We'll see how long I can talk. So it seems that taking over the workshop here at Mount Blair isn't something that people have done very often or even really know to do, even really experienced players. So I've done it and it's pretty cool. So I'm going to go here and try and take this workshop again and start up the machinery so you can see what's involved in that. This might be a pretty longish video. I'm not going to cover all the running there unless something interesting happens. All right, here we go. I think it's robots here. Oh, scorched. All right. I seem to remember these buildings, too, I had to clear out. Those are ghouls, maybe not. Getting around in this place is also pretty interesting. There's a lot of uh, trying to figure out how to get to point from point A to point B. Oh, mole miners, okay. Right, mining, duh. I'm still trying to figure out how to play with a keyboard. Uh, one thing after the update, it doesn't want to recognize my controller anymore. Also, this is quieter, so... Don't care. But this place is sprawling. It's really hard to find all the bad guys. Okay, so here's our workshop, which of course we hear pinging, so there's still... Oh, maybe, okay. Oh, that's, a, that's an officer that's not um, in the workshop telling me that there's bad guys around. All right, well, this is me easier than I thought. Bethesda then you're fucking... It's blue, but I can't put anything there. What is it intersecting with? The ground? <clears throat> well, I guess we're getting one turret over here. Can I put you up here? No? Can I put you up here? No? Wrong call that good. Are 
Okay, prayer defenses. Learn how to activate the giant excavator. And that's what we want to do. So we're going to, we got to defend it first. Incidentally, if you want to, that's just a tip I picked up just today, I think, maybe yesterday. Sometimes you need to complete an event for a challenge in a particular area of the map, like the forest or the um, cranberry bog or whatever. And the event just isn't popping up. It isn't popping up. You can go to a workshop, claim it in the area you want the event in, and hey, look, it's going to create an event in that area that you can then complete and fulfill your challenge. So I thought I'd pass that along. Yeah, in real life, I hate heights. In the game, sometimes it's pretty cool. I like I like jumping down from them in game. I don't understand it. Oh, mole rats. Okay. Damn, I kind of wish I had my rifle in case they're way far away, like down there. That is one reason why this workshop is kind of a pain in the neck. Thanks for coming here and helping. I'm more than happy to have mole rat meat for the melee bonuses. come up here for me? There we go. <clears throat> yeah, my cost will not gone. I'm gonna try not to cough, but I only have so much even really awareness that I'm doing it at this point after a couple months. Thank you, dude. Turret dude. You know what? This isn't going to get interesting. I'm just going to speed the rest of this defense up. All right. Now we can get to work. Let's go back to wherever inside was. There we go. Oh, blessedly quiet. Find or build ignition cores. Is that a thing I can... Go to the workshop? Now we're back to where I don't remember what to do anymore.
but that's a tinker machine. My tinker workshop workbench. Let's see. Why give me blue if, it can't, if I can't put it there? Oh, well, there's a tinker bench. I'll bet that's it, because they're giving me one. Yeah, oh uh, look, there's even a diamond there. Install ignition cords. I think it's just all these red things where we put the ignition cores in. Oh no, what to say? Okay, that will go away. My little recording um, signal kind of covers up what the quest uh, instructions are. That's okay. Come on, baby. There you go. So this will collect ore for you. Um, the, uh, I don't feel like the fucking defending it again. I am not good at mazes. Okay. What? I hate the Scorch Beast attack. I don't want a Scorch Beast. I just want to see what this thing does. And the scenery I'm around here is just cool. I just want to see the thing work. And you can collect, you know, shit that is gathered for you. Um, but I want to see, I want to show you the gathering stuff, which is cool. Oh, fuck the Scorch Beast, man. Go for it, turrets. Here's the other side of this thing.
Yeah, if you can just keep her busy long enough for... Yeah, it was like all this big shit. Alright. Yeah, you can get all the way up there, but I don't want to. You see the danger I put myself in to show you cool stuff? And look at this. This is what you see in all those um, still frames when on um, loading screens. Let's jump down and see it from down there. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. What the hell is I climb in there? Oh, I don't have jetpack in this. I might not need it. I think she's gone. Or the jet sports beast is gone. Fine, I don't get a reward. But look! The cool animation. Scooping all the shit up. I mean, I think this is kind of an impressive bit of, uh... of programming and stuff. I mean, like, a, a massive location that hardly anyone really takes advantage of. Like intense scenery. And, um. Yeah, I'm gonna go down there. This might be the end of the video. Whoa! Can I get in it? I guess not. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, I was in it for a second. Okay. I'm gonna take off my armor and see if I can hit you with this person. Try this again. Let's see what I'm doing. This is, uh, this is Diana Genta, your Wasteland Rover. Gonna teleport back to my base and get away from the Scorch Beast. You guys have fun in the, you guys have fun in the apocalypse. <laughs>